Okay, so a couple comic book news updates. Got some more losses for the comic book pros who really just don't seem to care. They're just losing money left and right and continuing to slam fans and blame fans. This is after they put out garbage like New Warriors. You know, it's like, hey, uh, you don't like this. Well, you're uh, you're an istophobe. Get out of here. We don't need you. And, uh, well, I got to tell you, we also don't need you. So Valiant Comics posted this long thread of comic books and trying to pump up fans. And then they decided to post a video of their senior editor, Heather Antos. You may remember her from a video I did previously where she said American fans are trash. And uh, basically, they're the worst. So uh, she don't need them. So this got ratioed. And a lot of people made sure to let Valiant know, well, they don't need your comics because your senior editor said, hey, uh, I don't need your business. So it got ratioed. And a lot of people came in here and gave hot takes. People that didn't even know they were blocked by her found out they were blocked. And then a lot of people posting this, saying America, when she's going on tirades about capitalism. She's been doing this for years. She's been going after fans for years, pretty much with the hot take that fans are trash garbage and that they're ungrateful and unneeded. And people are sick of it. People are sick of it. And it's not just her doing this. Comic book professionals have been doing this for years now, going after fans, saying that they're terrible, they're ungrateful. How are you, you know, worthy of being my fan? And people are tired of it. It's one of the reasons the comic book industry is in so much trouble Despite the fact that the characters and the stories are very, very poor in most of their books, this is also the attitude of most mainstream comic book pros. Here's a recap. This person says, What thing has the worst fans? Antos chimes in, America. And then uh, Sephiroth here says, You are currently second place behind my friend who said, Jesus, for best answer. The replies to you are real bad, though. What can I say? The worst fans. And some of the replies on here, uh, okay, well, I'm not going to buy your books. And there you go. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, This is a nightmare for Valiant. Valiant isn't a big company like Marvel and DC. They can't take this kind of hit. So I wonder what they'll do here. I'm not buying any Valiant comics as long as someone that says that I'm a terrible person because I I live in America, who also lives in America and is working in an American-based company, I won't be purchasing any of your comics ever again. And that seems to be a shared opinion. As you see old Neurotic chiming in there, I'm American. I was told I was the worst fan ever. Sorry, can't buy F America. And there you go. So I agree. I will not be purchasing your comics either. Bye bye. Speaking of bye bye, uh, Comic Con in San Diego likely canceled. So there are three, as far as I know, the three biggest Comic Cons are New York, Chicago, and San Diego. San Diego likely going to get canceled. Every Comic Con is pretty much canceled at this point. Uh, this goes into July. Okay, so now cons into July are likely canceled, which is terrible, terrible news for comic book pros. And they just want to sit there and they want to keep pouring gasoline onto the onto the comic book industry and and doubling down on fans and telling fans that they're trash garbage, which absolutely blows my mind. Like, why would you? This is like the worst time to do that. But they're they're still doing it. It just shows you how to touch these people are. And. (laughs) <laughs> and how, you know, how bad the comic book industry has gotten. Imagine it's literally on its deathbed and they're still doubling down on going after fans and calling them trash. And I'll just, I'll never understand it. You're literally like, you're literally killing off what you had left. So anyway, Comic-Con likely canceled. It's going to be canceled for sure. Uh, just a quick note. Most of these pros, like this is where they make most of their money is going to the comic cons. Uh, They make more money going to cons than they do working in the comic book industry. I don't know if you knew that or not, but they make more money going to cons likely than they do making comics. And 
this is a humongous revenue revenue stream gone. Gone. Okay, because they would go to Artist Alley. They would do signings, commissions. That's all gone now. That's all gone. And, you know, they expect people to still sit there and lick their boots. You know, I, I just, I find this interesting and kind of hilarious because it's up and comings that they've had coming for a long time. Big egos, bunch of narcissists, and chickens are coming home to roost. So while not yet officially canceled, the upcoming San Diego Comic-Con will likely be canceled, which is held in July due to everything going on right now. San Diego Tour- Tourism Authority CEO Joe Therese makes it, makes it sound as if the cancellation announcement will be imminent. They are evaluating any financial liability they might have to make a cancellation. And once they determine that, they'll make a decision, he said. Based on our knowledge of the event, it will be very difficult for them to have the event in July with other events you could do. You could do things to keep people separate. But Comic-Con is a whole different animal. It's a massive sea of people. And that it is. I went to the C2E2 this year. That one still happened. And that place is packed from wall to wall with people. You can't even move in some spots. And talk about getting a drink. It takes sometimes. It, one time I had to stand in line for 20 minutes just to get a beer. It was insane. It's insane. And that's one of the big ones. I would say New York's is probably bigger. That's probably the biggest one. Uh, San Diego, I've never been there. That one, I don't want to go out to Chicago, or I don't want to go out to California. So, it's also made it's also made known that the majority of hotels have agreed to waive any cancellation fees for attendees. Any cancellation fees or penalties for this year's event will be waived as we work through the challenging process. Comic Con continues to be a loyal partner and important economic generator for the city of San Diego, and has been for over fifty years. So. This is huge, huge loss. This is a huge loss of money for comic book pros. And I imagine their rage fits on Twitter are only going to intensify and get worse. And I will be there to laugh at them. And it's still funny. You know, I did a video on this the other day talking about, you know, we're getting crap like New Warriors and Gotham High. When obviously there's still a demand for badass characters like Spawn. These people want to just chip away at the industry and ruin it. But look at this. The thing is over a million dollars now. Okay. And you're going to tell me people don't like these. Like there's, this just says to me in so many ways, there's a demand for this stuff and they just don't care. They don't care. Anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Share the video. If you would make sure you still subscribe, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell. Make sure you leave comments. How do you feel about them losing San Diego comic-con? What do you think of the spawn figure making over a million dollars? It's crazy. What is this thing going to hit? I bet you it's going to hit 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. The sky's the limit for this thing. 27 days to go. Anyway, see you. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.